Hello, boys and girls. The Barrington Thompson Foundation wants to share some information with you. Our goal here is to share education, okay, for your development. We want to see brilliant boys and girls um, in our society. And so the parts of a subtraction, if I'm going to set up this subtraction, I first need to set it in this format. 123 minus 12. So I have 1, 2, 3. I have my minus sign. I draw my line. This is the 1. I have to put the 1 under the 1. This is the 10. I put a 10 here. And there is no 100. So I leave that space empty. If you want, you could just put a 0 there as a space holder. Okay? Now there are three different parts. This one is called the minuend. This is the subtrahend. And guess what this is called? The answer will be the difference. Okay? Alright, so your subtrahend must be equal to or, is, or less than your minuend. You can't have your minuend smaller than your subtrahend. If you do, then you'd have to borrow a 10 from over here to make this big. And I'll show you that later. Okay? All right. So, 2 from 3, we have 1, 2, 3. And you take away 2, it leaves 1. You have 2 here, 1, 2. And you're taking away 1, it leaves 1. And 0 from 1 is going to give you 1. Any number, any number... Zero from any number is going to give you the same number. And if you want to prove that you're correct, you can add your difference and your subtrahend. Anytime you want to prove if you're correct, you can add the difference and the subtrahend. So let's have one, 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 which is the difference. And let's add back the subtrahend to it. Two and one give you three. One and one give you two and one. All right. So if you want to find out to prove if you're correct, you could just add what you subtract from it. And the difference that you get let's go over to this one look quickly we have one five four minus look carefully you want to put your ones under your ones so they put the five there and the nine ten under ten five from four we can't because what four is smaller than five so we're going to borrow ten from this leave four all right so this 10 will come over here and make it 14. And then 5 from 14 give us 9. And 9 from 4, we can't. So we just make it 14 because we're taking this, this 10 here and put it right here. So it becomes 14. 9 from 14 will give you 5. All right? Good. And if you want to prove it, you could add back your 9 to 5. Plus 59, 10 and 5, 4, 10, 15. It gives you back 154, which is up there as well. All right? 